Rappers today be looking like a desk in detention. Wow, that is harsh. Like, bro, you look like someone doodled on your face. I'm sorry, if you have face tattoos, God bless, good for you. It's not my thing, <laughs> but this dude looks like someone wrote down their number for their crush in the next class. <laughs> like, let me just write my love note on your cheek real quick. Can you pass it along to Samantha? Next period, thanks. Did someone play tic-tac-toe on your forehead, man? <laughs> Anyways, hi guys. I'll stop roasting him. What's up? Yes, we're looking at some more memes that cared for me when no one else would, which is never. So, as always, please subscribe, follow me on Instagram, links are all down below, and please like and share the video. And comment below if you wanna see some more memes. But yeah, let's go. What's up guys? Yes, we are doing a December giveaway. I'm so excited. This time I'll be giving away AirPod Pros and two $500 Amazon gift cards. The rules are simple this time. I'm not doing a contest again. That was too much work. But you guys had some really good memes, by the way. They were all hilarious. Anyways, the rules for the December giveaway are in the description box below. You just have to be subscribed to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Like and share this video and comment below hashtag Sarah Caney giveaway. And if I pick you as the winner, I'll reply to your comment and you'll have to send me a screenshot showing me that you're subscribed to the channel and you're following me on Instagram. Super simple. Again, I'm giving away AirPod Pros and two $500 Amazon gift cards, so they gotta go to somebody. So please enter the giveaway. I really want to give away this stuff. But yeah, that is it. So let's get back to the video. Me, I need more friends. Me also isolating myself every night. <laughs> Drinking wine, watching cold case files, eating Cheeto puffs, some cheese quesadillas. Why is it a demon? Why does he have a skull for a head? <laughs> what you watching? Can I join? We can be friends. We can isolate together. For real though, I complain all the time about having no social life and then I flake on everybody when they want to hang out, finally. I'm just like, eh, no, I don't want to put an effort to anything. I just want to complain. Thank you. <laughs> I saw a girl carrying a hamster, so I asked if I could pet it, but it was actually a muffin, so I'm on my way to jump off a cliff now. <laughs> you thought a muffin was a hamster? How do you get that mixed up? And why was she holding a muffin like a, like a pet? Who holds a muffin right here? Dude, I could use a muffin right now, I'm sorry. <laughs> I have the soul of a 600 pound woman. So muffins are life. Blueberry muffins legit are like the best breakfast. They're so good. Comment below your favorite kind of muffin. I love how parents, they try to ask you like, oh, if your friends jumped off a bridge, would you jump with them? And I'd be like, girl, I'd go first. <laughs> I'm just tired, but really, it's my depression, insomnia, anxiety, essential dread, loneliness, and crying myself to sleep every night. But no, I'm just tired. Thanks for asking. <laughs> okay, why is Squidward's house just in the background staring and judging me? <laughs> I don't need this, sir. SpongeBob legit was my favorite show growing up. Wait, it still is, who am I kidding? Squidward is life. He is literally me. <laughs> I feel bad for this guy. SpongeBob literally annoyed him every single day. Like, he couldn't just leave him alone to be lonely in peace. <laughs> Does anyone remember when LOL meant laughing out loud instead of, this is to indicate that this brief text isn't hostile? <laughs> yeah, it's like, I don't want you to think I'm too serious or I want to be passive aggressive, so I'm gonna put LOL so you get confused. <laughs> I used to be one of those girls that just judged any guy that said LOL and I would, just roast him for it. I don't know why, I used to be mean. <laughs> when your mom goes grocery shopping and forgets the one thing you asked for. No, really, it's fine. It's just, y you had one job, woman. Like you can't even, no, okay. Did you run into your coworker again? And y'all talked for three hours? Great. <laughs> I just wanted Skittles. Why is that so hard? That look of, woman is <laughs> so me. I wanna be friends with Obama. <laughs> if I'm telling you a story, be prepared to have seven mini conversations and 19 other stories thrown into it because I can't stay focused. I am all over the place. Literally, I'll forget the original point I was trying to make and I'll ask the other person, wait, what was I even talking about? Oh yeah, that, okay. <laughs> I need a reminder. That's why it's important that people are good listeners when I'm talking to them because I need your help. You good girl? Did you just wake up? <laughs> me overthinking how I said here during attendance. Me, so me. I overthink everything. Literally, there was something I said last week and I it haunts me every night still. And it's going to for the next 10 years, minimum. I think this girl's hungover. She is not having a good time. <laughs> she has that tiny little headache that's just like sitting there waiting to get bad and it won't go away. And she's like, just don't bother me right now. I, I can't. Just get me a grilled cheese. 
And this is my toxic trait. Someone who wouldn't do the same for me, me. Helping them, doing everything I wish they would reciprocate back to me, give me the same effort, and they don't. I, that, that's my toxic trait. I'm serious. I do so much for the people I care about, and then when the same effort isn't given back to me, I just cry, and then I keep doing it. What's wrong with me? Dad doesn't want a dog. Family gets dog anyway, even though dad's mad. Dad and the dog. The dog always loves the dad the most because it's the one person that's not giving him attention, so he wants that attention more than anything else. It don't make no sense, Dwayne. Okay, I'm sorry. I know it's not No Nuance November, but I'm just gonna say it. Dwayne Johnson is kind of a snack. He kind of cute. He's the only man I would date that's bald. <laughs> Seriously, the amount of time I spend just imagining and reimagining totally made up scenarios in my head has got to be unhealthy. Yeah, it is. I imagine myself as a main character in every book I read, every movie I see, I imagine myself as the one person that matters to everyone. <laughs> Cause it would be nice. I want to be the main character in someone's story, okay? I want the funny best friend with glasses. I don't procrastinate. I wait until the last minute to do things because I will be older and therefore wiser. Work smarter, not harder, guys. That is very true. Older and wiser. But not for me. I will still suck at math when I'm 80 years old. When you are about to give your mom an attitude but then you remember you have unapproved plans, you're just like, wait, yeah, I'm just gonna, Zip. So mom, about this Friday. And as soon as she gives you an answer, just be like, yeah, about earlier. That wasn't cool. This little girl has so much attitude. She's just like, uh, uh oh, I, I still have a play date to ask about. No, I can't. Hello? Are you experimenting with new lip colors? When you're ready to go out and your mom decides to insult you right before you leave, like why? Why mom? Why? Why can't you just let me have confidence? Just leave me alone? I'm literally walking out the door and then she's like, oh, you should change that shirt by the way. I wouldn't wear that. <laughs> like, thanks. I was trying something new, but whatever. Me. I'm mature now, guys. I've grown up in the last three minutes. <laughs> also me. I must align my feet with the tiles or else I'll die. <laughs> I do that. I still do that. In school, I would walk on the different colored tiles because it was mostly white and then there were some blue ones thrown in at random. And I would walk on those on purpose or else I thought I would drown in the neutral tiles. <laughs> Me looking outside to see what chapter of Revelation we're doing today. <laughs> this whole year has just been an apocalypse read straight from the Bible. Someone opened Pandora's box. Someone touched the Dybbuk box. Someone touched something. Someone opened a tomb. Like, what natural disaster do we have today? Hurricane? Tornado? Sharknado? Who knows? Boomers, why are there holes in your jeans? You ripped those yourself? Yeah, what about it? Boomer? Gen Z, why are there holes in the ozone? You ripped those yourself? <laughs> Millennials, oh, oh, <laughs> let them go at it, guys. Yeah, boomers and Gen Zers just hate each other and they go at it and millennials are just in the middle like, we're just here for the ride. Don't bring us into your problems. Literally boomers ruined the environment because they knew they wouldn't be alive for the consequences and they're just leaving it up to us. And they're getting mad at us for trying to fix it. Like, back off, you're gonna die in like 10 years. Shut up. Do you ever pee and then you still have to pee after you pee, but you can't pee because you just peed? Yes, me. This post spoke to me on a spiritual level. Yeah. No, that would happen to me and then I would go sit on the toilet and then just a tiny bit would come out and then I would get up and it would still feel like I have to go. I'm like, D am I dying? What's going on down there? I have the bladder of a 99 year old woman, me. Wow, that exam was so easy. Gets results and fails. Yeah, I'm just gonna go die now. <laughs> All that effort for nothing. Like I studied for five minutes this time right before the exam and I didn't pass. What's the point? It's okay, girl. We've all been there. Oh, it's a little puppy martini. Someone comment below a good funny word for this. You know, like there's puppuccino. What would this be? Like besides dog martini, that doesn't, it's not smooth enough. Someone think of a good word and I will pin it at the top of the comments. This is so cute. I hate olives though. I don't get why people put olives on anything. They're disgusting. I hate them. 
Nuff said. And that's it for memes that cared about me when no one else would or ever will. <laughs> that dog was so freaking cute. Anyways, hope you liked it. Again, please subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Links are all down below. And please like and share the video. And comment below which meme was your favorite. And I will see you word people next time.